Well, I mean, we didn't. It was reminiscent offensively uh, of our uh, Cincinnati game in many ways, uh, in that we were uh, shot the ball super quick, and we didn't have many uh, possessions at all where we moved the ball four or five times. And especially when you're on the road, uh, you know, you got to be, you know, real patient when you don't have a good shot. And when you go back and look at that game, and like you know, we had a nine-point lead twice with the ball, eight minutes or less on the clock, and we're shooting after no passes and one pass, not having an understanding of you know. That's probably a time when you want to use some clock and uh, make them play defense for longer periods of time before you take a, a shot. And that's something we've got to learn. We watched the whole film yesterday as a team, which impacted our practice time. Uh, in other words, we practice much shorter than we normally would two days out, but I just felt it was really important for us to see it uh, so that we could learn from it. Um, I know the you know, threes were kind of in and out some in that game. So do you discourage your team from when they have a poor shooting game or shooting threes? Not, not when they're wide open. You know, we had a couple of really good looks. Tyson had two really good looks late. Uh, I thought that uh, Q had a good look and Zay had a good look. All late when we were struggling to score. But yet, you know, all those guys put time in on their shot to where I have confidence it's going to go in when they're open. And, uh, you know, fortunately, the first half we were 5 for 9 from 3. The second half we didn't make one, 0 for 13. And that obviously was a huge part to the game, not to be able to knock down 1-3. Now, of those 13, how many of them were great shots? I mean, uh, I'd have to go back and count those again. But I know the ones I just said, those four right there, were all good shots. We just missed them. Yeah, I can't speak for our players. I just know it was, you know, it really sticks in your craw. Um, yeah, especially when you feel like you have a chance to win. You know, it's one thing, uh, you know, when you lose a game and, and uh, you know, you've been down the whole game. Uh, you know, you never, I mean, we, we had the lead with the ball twice with 8.30 and with less than eight minutes to go in the game. And, uh, you know, that's, that makes it tougher. Uh, the status is, is uh, not changed. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, I don't have any comment other than to say that we're looking into and gathering more information uh, on the uh, situation that he was involved with. No way, uh, that's the plan. Yeah, he, he, he'll he be playing on Wednesday night. I would uh, be willing to uh, bet that that's a very strong possibility. Wait, wait, they're, they're really good. He's their best player. Chio's a uh, Memphis kid. Played great against us here last year. Uh, he's having a phenomenal senior year. Uh, yeah, but they're they're very uh, good. I mean, they've got some pieces. Hudson was a kid out last year. He's a very good player. The, 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 the transfer from Rice, number four, He's got a foreign name. Um, he's a very good shooter and he's the leading scorer. Uh, you know, Hayes is still formal inside. Stone is shooting 52% from three as their starting four man. And they'll play small times. So they're a team that's going to play, uh, you know, four perimeter players most of the time. You know, they'll, start, they'll have Stone and Hayes in there, they'll get some, and they'll start that way. But then they evolve into playing small ball a lot of the time. You know, uh, Ballard's a good player up. Bullard out of the bench, and they got good players. You know, obviously, uh, Javon Allen, really good player, all league player last year. Being in different arenas, depth perception, depth perceptions, especially we haven't done it a whole lot this year. Is that is that a factor at all? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, uh, but it's an interesting arena. You know, it's built kind of straight up, and uh, you know, they're right behind you. Uh, you know, I, I, we haven't been there since it was remodeled. Uh, you know, we played there my first year, and then last year we weren't at Florida, and that's when they went through the remodel. So I'm not sure, you know, what kind of changes were made uh, that will will make it feel different or look different. I know we'll lose to one group one at you a couple of times, and then they didn't have a lot of success. But you expect to see that in a lot of the forward. No, I mean uh, that that's part of their staple, and, and actually in the first half we attacked it pretty good. We got a wide open three by Eric in the corner couple other good shots uh, and, and really late we had a couple good looks against their 3-2 they went to a 3-2 zone and uh, but 
you know, I think we got a little tentative when we saw it in the second half uh, when the game was getting closer. You know, I mean, we had, you know, 11 point lead with 10 minutes to go in that game on a layup by uh, Eli Wright. So, you know, uh, we had our opportunities. Um, yeah, I think it did. Uh, just to ride back home uh, with the team, I can, I can just tell that that loss hurt everybody. And we just want to try to move on from that one and um, get this next one in Florida. Yeah, that's not like success outside of the home, but you know, what, what are your thoughts on that one on the road, especially playing that Florida three house in the front? I mean, we know this is um, a tough conference this year, and we're going to try to get all our home guys and try to steal a few of them on the road. We know if we get a couple on the road and, and take care of being at home, we got a good chance to make a um, tournament this year. It's been a long time. What do you have to do to adapt your game to that over and over just Just trying to get everybody involved and, and try not to leave people out and things like that. Just just making sure everybody have it on the floor um, when I'm playing a point. Just if, I mean, if the team rolling, then they just help me to take the pressure off me. They, they, they take the pressure off me, and they just open up things for me. So I just try to, to get the team going first, and then I try to look to score. You still believe It's just time to score. I mean, I mean when, we, when we need baskets and things like that, I, I just try to to look for and, and um, try to find baskets for this team. But overall, I'm just trying to keep everybody happy and, and distribute the basketball so we can play as a team. You talked about uh, looking back at the film when y'all were ahead there in the second half, a lot of quick shots went up. Uh, did y'all want to see it when y'all watched the film? And a lot of quick shots not making any passes and stuff. Yeah, I know we did it in both our losses. I know we did it in the Cincinnati loss when we took a lot of bad, quick shots, and not very patient on offense. So uh, we, we looked at the film again and seen that we needed to be patient on offense, and we came out in practice uh, yesterday, and we was, we was patient on offense. We, we didn't work on a lot. We just worked on basically our offense and being patient and being able to move the basketball without running a set play. Say it's been about the same the last two years I've been here. I'm just getting more on on the defensive end. I know in the past I was getting a, a lot of offensive rebounds, but I think I picked it up on the defensive end this year. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. Basically, we um, we play small sometimes, and Coach Harden just need all five guys to go in there and rebound and. I just hit him for the basketball, and, and I, I intend to be in the um, right spot at the right time.